So what do you say if we get real with each other here? You and I have been through the fire. The bottom dropped out. We lost someone we love dearly, haven't we? We're grieving, right? And it hurts. We know that the emotions tied up in this nasty grief stuff can be pretty tough too. And I know that. There's confusion, anger, guilt, am I right? And so much more. Even, yeah, even fear. Fear of an unknown future, and it can all get jumbled up in a big ball of anxiety. For some, there's depression, and yes, even despondency. Some, maybe not you, but some might get to the point where they just feel like there's no way life could ever be good again when faced with a future without someone they love so deeply right there by their side. But you, well, you finally got to the point where you realize you could use some help. How do I know that? Well, you're here, and you're not going to let this opportunity slip by. And here at the Genesis Grief Project, I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to allow you to be stuck in your grief. But I've been there. I get it. Either you don't know where to find some help, that guidance that you need, really, or you're just not the type to go out looking for it. I know you. I know you because that was actually me right after I lost my only child almost a decade ago. And it seems like only yesterday. But let me tell you, since my son's passing, I've rediscovered life, rediscovered who I am. I, I have peace now and I have purpose. And so can you. You're here. You're ready. But maybe you just need a hand to hold on to or someone to support you in your own time, in your own way. And man, am I so proud of you for making the move. Because so many don't. See, millions of us join this club every year. This club that no one wants to join. And the number of grievers who will actually seek support outside the home is just a fraction of 1%. A fraction of 1%. That's it. And that's not many of us, folks, is it? Millions of newly bereaved souls who hurt but aren't doing anything about it. Is that you? Maybe. Or maybe you are the type to go seek support. You've seen someone in the mental health field, a counselor. Maybe, maybe you've gotten together with your pastor at church. Perhaps you've had sessions with a local therapist, but whoever it was, maybe you're finding it kind of tough to gel with someone who's never felt your pain, right? Someone who's never been through the fire themselves. I mean, some of these well-intentioned professionals are still pushing the five stages of grief stuff on us, you know? I hear about it all the time, and I bet you have too. The five stages of grief. Yeah, no, it's not for us, folks. There are no stages for what we go through. There are no linear timelines or chronological waypoints to reach along our journey. And it can be frustrating when we find someone who wants to tell us we should be further down our journey by now, right? So maybe it's discouraging, or maybe it's just hard to go looking for support, knowledge, experience, guidance to help you're now starting to sense you could use. The help you're now starting to sense you need, but you don't know where to get it. You don't even know what's out there. Or maybe, just maybe, you're just not the type to go out in public and get it. Whatever the reason, now, today, because of all this, it feels like you're left behind, left alone. Alone with nothing but you and your grief. But what if I told you that here, with the Genesis Grief Project, you'll find grief support on your terms, in a different way. Discover those healthier ways of looking at your grief. After all, if we can get you to change the way you look at your grief, I'll show you how the grief you look at will change. And so, so much more for the better. Now, I'm Arkelin Kelly, or Ron to my friends, and, and I do hope you'll consider yourself just that my friend. Call me Ron, won't you? First and foremost, I am a bereaved father. I lost my 16-year-old son and only child, Jonathan, to a rare congenital heart defect. Sure, I, I floundered for a while. I floundered after he was gone. I had a lot of false anger and a lot of false guilt. I was lost and a little frightened, too, about, about an unknown future and confused. After all, he was my only child. Was I even still a father anymore? But just a wave after wave of nonstop debilitating emotional pains made it feel like I couldn't breathe. And yet, one day, before things got too bad for me, the concept I would later write about in a book I'll tell you more about later, The Grief Case, came to me. And because of it, I began to process my emotions in a different way. And I, I moved forward. And when I got to a place where I rediscovered life could have joy, I rediscovered life could have purpose, 
Even without my dear child by my side, I decided to write a book about it and share it with others who were traveling along the same journey as me, but maybe, maybe just a few steps behind, maybe a lot. Well, I called my first published book, Sometimes I Cry in the Shadow, A Grieving Father's Journey to Wholeness and Healing. It was my first of six books now, and it's the deep, deep story of me and Jonathan and why I crashed and how I found the fortitude to reemerge from the fire with nothing left but the truth. Well, it wasn't long after the book came out that I began getting invitations to speak at several nonprofit grief support organizations and found myself soon collaborating with some very renowned thanatologists or folks who specialize in the study of death on the living and anthropologists too, those, those, who, well, those who study us for what we do as humans. Hey, and you want to talk about moving forward? Roughly a year and a half after my son's passing, I would humbly accept an invitation to sit on a board of advisors at Lebonner Children's Hospital, the very hospital where my son lost his life. Now, talk about moving forward and grief healing journeys, that's a pretty big step for me. I also found myself traveling and speaking about grief recovery at universities, civic organizations, hospitals, churches, you name it, and in big business too. I'm honored to say that I've been invited three times in the past four years to the headquarters of Delta Airlines in Atlanta, Georgia, to give the opening keynote address for their annual day-long gathering of bereaved Delta employees from across the country. What a great company these leaders have, right? And I've met and collaborated about employee grief with executive leadership of such companies as Coca-Cola, and met with the same level of folks at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. I've also served on the National Board of Directors for several nonprofit grief support organizations, such as the Bereaved Parents of the USA, the Grief and Hope Coalition, and Cry For Me No More. These are, these are amazing, compassionate, and supportive organizations. I've appeared multiple times on national television, on CBS, Trinity Broadcast Network, and New York Public Television, just to name a few, to discuss grief support. And I've been a guest on far too many radio shows and podcasts to list here, and been in the newspaper a few times along the way as well. I've hosted so many grief support workshops at regional and national conferences and personally coached more bereaved souls one-on-one -on -one by phone or in person than I can recall. And you'll want to be a member of the Genesis Group Project. You are ready. And to begin rolling out the project, I've started with my private collection of books that I've written over the years after my son passed. Six of them, all written with moving forward after the loss. Thousands have purchased my books, although I offer them primarily when I speak or present workshops across the country. Welcome to my study. And I moved us here at this point because, well, this is where I did so much thinking, so much of my own grieving, so much healing. Here's where I studied myself. And over the years now, I've shared my discoveries with so many of my bereaved brothers and sisters. It's simply the legacy left behind by my dear son, Jonathan, to be of service to others. See, very much like you are right now, I was in a bad place after I lost him. You are frightened right now, aren't you? Afraid of a future without your loved one still right there by your side. Maybe you're angry too. I was. Maybe you have a lot of guilt. Am I right? Regret? Despondency? Depression? Well, you're here with me in my study right now because you're stuck. Stuck in your grief, aren't you? Yeah, and maybe even wondering how life can ever go on without your loved one right there by your side in your life. See. I hear that a lot in my grief coaching, you know, and, and we work through it. You can too. You must. You will. You're not alone, you see. Every year, over two and a half million souls pass away just here in the United States alone. Now, I don't mean to cut off the rest of the world, but let's just make it simple here for a second. Two and a half million deaths each year in this country, which sadly leaves behind an average of five grieving survivors for each loss. That means that every year, just here in the U.S., over 12 and a half million of us join this club that no one wants to join. And as you may or, or may not know yet, the influences of loss can go well beyond just the first year. Now, listen carefully. This is important. Research shows 
that up to 20% of those of us who've been through this traumatic loss will unfortunately experience a terrible condition known as complicated grief, bringing with it the very strong possibility of long-term mental and physical harm and a very good chance that help can only come through professional intervention. And look, there's nothing in my works, whether it be my speaking, my writing, or in my media appearances, workshops, or coaching sessions that's intended to replace professional help for anyone who is grieving a loss. As a matter of fact, if you are in an emotional place where you feel you're harming yourself or others, or if someone you love and respect tells you the same, please, please, please seek out professional help immediately. But I don't believe you're in that place right now, are you? You're here with me, and I know at this point in your life, you have so much joy yet to experience. You're just stuck in grief. And you're here because you're looking, as I once did, for someone just a little further along the path of healing that can hold out a hand and give you some guidance. Well, that's me. See, you're lost on a mountain. There's no map, no clear path you can find on your own. And you've never been in this dark place before, have you? Yet you know there are dangers everywhere. Well, I'm on the other side now, living a wonderful life with my dear son always in my heart. But I've been there where you are. I've been on the mountain and I've made my safe passage to this other side and led so many others trapped on that mountain too. I know the trails and I know the pitfalls. I know the way to get to the other side where life is once again filled with peace and purpose. Well, not only have I mapped out my own journey as I first walked through the mountain, but I've gone so much further in laying it all open to you. Everything. See, as I journeyed, I studied, as I healed, and as I began to heal others, I wrote, and I haven't stopped. A little over a year and a half after my son's loss, my first book, Sometimes I Cry in the Shower, was published. This is a story of me and of my son, us, before, during, and after his death. It's a true recounting of how I rediscovered self and my meaning and my existence here on earth and how I discovered my path for getting back to this wonderful life of peace and purpose that I now enjoy. Without question, it is my sincere hope that if you want to move forward with me, you'll certainly want to know more about me. And sometimes I cry in the shower, I show you just where I landed when the bottom dropped out of my life how I bared all and stood naked against the storm, and how I came through the fire and let it burn everything from me that was false. What was left was only the true me then. And it was life-changing. Life-changing in ways you might not even believe possible right now, but they are, and they are for you. But since that first book came out, I went on to learn so much more about myself and to learn about you. Sometimes I Cry in the Shower was followed by my next book about a year later called The Grief Case. And I cannot tell you enough how important this book is in the grief work that you must begin to do right now. See, we were all handed a grief case when we lost our loved one, weren't we? And we can't give it back. We can't put it down. It goes with us everywhere, doesn't it? And you know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? And it's so heavy, right? cumbersome, confusing, frightening. But through this amazing book, my book, The Grief Case, I'll show you just how to use yours as a marvelous tool in doing that grief work that you've got to do. It's a wonderful guide for moving forward toward a joyous life without leaving your lost loved one behind. And that's what this is all about, isn't it? We don't want them ever, ever forgotten. I followed that wonderful book with another called Grief Healings 365 to give us all daily inspirations and motivations in moving forward each day. 365 inspiring quotes, poems, proverbs, and creative works from the likes of Shakespeare, Dickens, Twain, and so many others that do not deal with the loss, but deal with moving us forward to life beyond the loss. See, I say they inspire us because I truly believe that when you are inspired, you are in spirit. You are one with your true self. And when you are in spirit, there is nothing you cannot accomplish, including this ugly mess. So listen, with Grief Healings 365, you'll 
You'll maybe put this one on your nightstand and, and read a new passage each morning when you get up. And carry that inspirational thought, a thought from someone in our past that we respect for their knowledge and wisdom. Abe Lincoln, Plato, Lao Tzu, Michelangelo. And there's room for your notes on each page too. Go ahead, write them down at the end of the night so that you, as you go day by day, can come back a year later and see what an amazing journey that you've gone through. And another year went by before I released my first grief fiction, an inspirational novel I titled Thursdays in the Grotto that I promise you was put in my heart by my dear late son, John. Now, I don't mind bragging when I say that this phenomenal story is already being adapted into a screenplay and we can only hope to see it on the big screen someday. It's a truly healing story about someone a lot like you and me, Aiden Huff, who's been through the fire, and we follow him as he pushes to come out on the other side, to truly know what life is really all about. And along the way, he encounters other wayward souls, gets involved in a little action, a little romance, and a whole lot of personal growth. When I tell you I know the way through the mountain, well, Aiden helps me lay it out in Thursdays in the Grotto for you in truly inspirational ways. So, those are my incredibly healing books for grief. And here's what I'd like to do for you today. I'd like to hold your hand. Allow me to help you with being stuck in grief. Help you stop standing still. Stop being angry. Stop being guilty, depressed, and afraid. Let my books guide you through the mountain of grief and help you towards the other side, to a life of peace and purpose. See, right now, I'd like to put these books together as a set. Right now, I'm offering an incredible deal for what I call the Empath Grief Collection. And I want you to take advantage of this offer too. I want you to begin your grief work and begin moving forward. I want you to purchase the Empath Grief Collection, which includes my three books, Sometimes I Cry in the Shower, The Grief Case, and Grief Healings 365. That's a start, a restart really, a genesis or a rebirth of what currently is. And in these three books, there's not just so much to discover, but to rediscover about yourself too. Learn about living, learn about your grief case, and be inspired daily and in knowing life is about moving forward again. Sometimes I cry in the shower, the grief case, and grief healings 365. And if you take advantage of this offer right now, for these three moving books, either in paperback or ebook, I'll include a fourth book for free, Thursdays in the Grotto, so you can experience Hayden as he works through the same grief work you and I must now do. Remember me telling you about a map to the mountain of grief? Aiden has discovered that map. Will he follow it? Follow it to peace and purpose? You'll find out, but whether he does or not, the map is there in the book for all to see, including you. Will you follow it? But look, I'm so encouraged just in you being here today, here to begin your journey, that if you purchase the Impact Grief Collection right now, which includes the bonus Thursdays in the Grotto, and you select the paperback editions, I'll throw in the full retail ebook versions of all four. Of course, in whatever format is best for your e-reader, be it EPUB, Mobi, or PDF. Listen, I won't try to hide it. I'm a bereaved father here. There are grief emotions that I'll never lose after that rare heart defect took my 16-year-old son, took him beyond my control, and you get that. But I don't want to lose those emotions either. If I did, I think I'd be a monster, right? Now, I miss him. I long for his physical presence every day. One more touch, one more word spoken between us. But you know what? I don't let those feelings rule my life. I let them make me stronger. After all, if things had gone in the natural order of, of life, really, if I had gone before him, I'd certainly expect Jonathan to live his life to the fullest, you know? True? You agree? Well, he wants that for me. I know it. He, he told me. Your loved one on the other side of that thin veil wants that for you too, you know? And they are telling you that. Maybe, just maybe right now, you're just not so sure on how to listen, how to tune in. Come find out how today. Buy this collection. Click the buy button below and begin your healing journey towards peace and purpose today.